Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Dominate Fishing. I'm Dan Meyer. This channel is all about giving you different tips, tricks, and strategies to help you catch more and bigger fish. So if this is your first time here, consider subscribing. In today's video, I'm going to give you some crappie fishing tips uh, to help you find and catch more crappies in the summertime. A lot of people want to know what to do to find crappies in the summer. Uh, for some people it can be tricky, but once you know what to look for, catching crappies in the summer can be pretty easy. So that's what we're going to talk about in this video. This summer I've caught tons of crappies on a ton of different lakes, fishing different depths, different structures. So in this video I'm going to kind of show you guys what I look for to catch these crappies. Now, catching crappies in the summer, it's it's going to take some looking, some searching. You're not just going to be able to go to a spot and catch fish. But in this video, I'm going to show you guys what to look for so you can find them pretty quickly. So I'm going to give you three keys. So the first key is to locate the best structure for holding crappies. Now there's a ton of different structure that holds crappies and on every lake it can be a little different. You know some shallow lakes they could be hiding in in one structure in deeper lakes they can be a different structure or they can be in a combination of all different ones and a lot of times in any one lake there's going to be a whole bunch of different spots that are holding crappies they're not just going to be in any one thing but right now what I want to do is we're going to go jump on a boat and just take a little cruise and I'm going to show you guys what I look for for finding good crappie holding cover let's jump on this boat all right guys so the f we're going to pull up to I'm going to show you guys three cover types that will pretty much hold crappie on every lake one of the three will pretty much um, always be what to look for on some lake now like I said there's a lot of different ones but uh, we're going to look at three of the main cover types and these are going to be in no specific order but the first that we're going to look at is logs and down trees crappies love to hide in wood so and the type of wood that can hold them can just be you know just a few down logs or you know it can be a big down tree you just never know but a lot of times there's certain trees that you can be pretty sure uh, if, if the crappies are in wood on any given lake that this this these big down trees are probably going to be what's hold, going to hold them. So we're going to look at a, a couple different types here. We're pulling up to the first one and I'm just going to kind of show you what I look for and how I fish it. Here you can see we've got a nice down tree actually and uh, all right, so this one is actually covered in weeds too, but you can see how up at the base of it, there's this, there's actually two down trees here, and then it's got all these limbs. Now up, the crappie can be at different parts of the down tree uh, at different times of the day. Now this one is in a little bit shallower water, but the, the deeper the water where the tree is, the deeper the water at the end of the tree, the better it can be in a lot of situations. Now sometimes the crappies will be out here at the end in the deeper water. Sometimes they're going to be up in these branches here and sometimes they'll be way up at the base of the tree. The time of day is going to make a difference. The water clarity, how much sun there is, is all going to make a difference to where the crappies are going to be. So you're going to need to fish all the areas. Now on this particular tree, it's in shallower water. So especially in the summer, a lot of times the crappies will be out here at the end. But a lot of times what you're looking for is this type of tree, but you want it to be falling into deeper water. So this one it would be worth checking but I'm just using this for example's sake but more what you would want is a tree like this to be falling in to deeper water but you can see it's a little bit deeper here out on the edge and there's there's trees down there and this one's actually even better because it's mixed in with weeds this is the kind of structure that's gonna hold crappie now in the spring when the water is you know it's it's cooler they might be up there in the warmer shallower water up by those big log posts again as the summer progresses they could be out here but they, you know they could be anywhere but 
a little bit deeper water is the key like i said this is just an example i just wanted to show you what a good tree looks like this is a good tree but we would like a little bit more depth so when you're fishing these these uh down trees a little bit better depth is better like if you have a shoreline with a steeper drop where it drops down into five six seven eight feet that's going to be really good so that the end of the tree is in deeper water um, and a lot of times you'll have the end of the tree in deeper water that won't be where the fish are the fish will be in the middle of the tree you know sitting around in that five foot range but again this is just kind of average you got to fish every tree to see where the fish are are hanging let's look at another tree all right guys so here's another example of a tree right here you can see we've got that nice wood and a little deeper water you can actually see all the fish i don't know if it's showing up all the fish that are sitting around that big log that's coming out into deeper water that's another great log like right up in there see how it's casting some shade under that log that's ideal for holding some crappies then right next to it we have another nice branchy tree um that's another good branchy tree those branches you know could hold water and actually look at those big branches if that tree collapses a little bit more in the water and you get all those nice branches out there that's what's really good for holding crappies <clears throat> but it also can be just a shoreline with a bunch of logs like like this one right here on on some lakes that's what you're going to look for is just a few logs but you kind of got to to check out you know the wood and in the summertime the wood bite may or may not be on you, you know it, it just kind of depends on what the crappies are sitting on on a given lake one lake the wood bites really good the next but lake the wood they're not in the wood they're in something else so that's going to take us now to our second type of cover and that's weeds and weeds are really good for locating crappies i fish weeds a lot and one type of weed that's really good is actually right here. And it's kind of been in this wood. Is this, uh, you can see it down there. It's that, that stringy type weed. I don't exactly know what that kind of weed is called. I'm not a weed expert, but it's, I think it's, it looks at some type of grassy type weed. That's good for holding crappies. That, uh, that that is definitely good for holding crappies. But now we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna fire up the motor and we're gonna go check out one of my favorite types of weeds for holding crappies. All right, guys. So one of the crappies' favorite place to be in the summer is in the weeds. And right here we've got a primo weed bed. So I'm gonna show you what a really good weed bed looks like for holding crappies. That right there is a nice deep cabbage bed. Crappies. You can see how it goes nice and deep. It's got nice and tall stock, uh, stalks right there. Look at that, there's, a, there's bait fish in there mixed with bluegills. Um, this is where crappies, I'm, I'm just looking to see if I can see some crappies in here right now. That is what you wanna look for when you're looking for crappies. Now they're not gonna be in every weed bed like that, especially if you got a weedy lake. There could be tons of weed beds. You have to find the ones that the crappies are holding on. There I see some bass swimming through here. There's some, there's some fish in this weeds. Um, but so when you go to a lake, you're gonna look and see, okay, are they in, is the wood bite on? Is the weed bite on? And you're gonna be just checking these spots, looking for these fish. Now I'm gonna give you some more tips here when we get to tip two and three. But right now, we've looked at wood we've looked at cover we're going to check out the final type of uh of cover that that's pretty much a guarantee for holding crappies so we've looked at weeds and uh down trees and you know logs and stuff on the shoreline the third cover type that is very likely to hold crappies is cribs or brush shelters crappies love to sit in cribs and they can be shallower water cribs or deeper water cribs you kind of just have to check them all to see if they're holding fish now in the summer when that water warms up a lot of times the real shallow cribs don't hold as many fish in the the as the deep water cribs but not always sometimes those shallow water cribs will surprise you so you really have to check them all but i really like to look for cribs in 8 to 12 feet of water 
that's kind of my favorite spot to find a crib but you know on some lakes you want them 20 feet it, it all just depends on, on the lake and you know if there's thermal clines and stuff like that but crappies love to sit in these cribs it's a real sure bet now not all lakes have cribs and it just really depends on the lake some lake it's going to be a weed bite some lake it's going to be wood or cribs and some lakes especially big lakes that are really have a really diverse you know depth range and kind of uh, structure it could be all different types of uh, structure that's going to hold whole fish so so once you've identified the cover that you're going to fish or the, the types of cover you're going to check for crappies the next key to finding summer crappies and especially a lot of them is depth because what you're going to find when you're looking at the depth is the crappies a lot of times are going to be running a certain depth range you, you call that the pattern they might be running six to eight feet they might be running eight to twelve they might be in twenty you know they might be in in thirty feet suspended you know fifteen feet off the bottom the other day i was fishing a spot the crappies were in 20 feet of water, but they were suspended 10 feet off the bottom. So you had to be in 20 feet, you had to be 10 feet down. Um, a lot of times in the summertime, you'll be fishing weeds, but you're fishing weeds in the 8 to 12 foot range, or the 6 to 8 foot range. So when you figure out the pattern, you figure out what depth the crappies are running, a lot of times that's going to kind of hold true for the, the whole lake. Now there could be two patterns on one lake. Some of the fish could be up in eight feet in the weeds. Some of them could be out in 20 feet suspended, you know, five or 10 feet up. But if, if you develop the pattern, okay, right now the fish are eight feet in the weeds, a lot of times if you check different weed beds on the lake, they're gonna be in that eight foot depth because that's where they're running. So you wanna find the depth the crappies are running. And then my final crappie fishing tip for this video is you need to find the bait fish and that sounds really simple but finding where the bait is going to be a lot of times is going to be where the crappies are because in the summer the crappies are looking for food they're chasing food that's what they're going to be doing now they're also going to be concerned with um, you know their safety but they're going to look for a spot where they can find cover and food so if if the water's too warm in the shallow and there's no bait fish up there, you're not going to find them up shallow. You know, you're, if the, the bait fish are in the weeds, that's where they're going to be. But if you're going through a, a weed bed and you're not seeing any bait, and you're also not catching any crappie, that's going to tell you something. Whereas if you pull up on a deep crib and there's this big cloud of bait fish over the crib, there's a good chance there's going to be crappies, you know, right around uh, that crib eating on those bait fish. Or if you pull up into some trees and you see a school of bait fish around there, that's a really good sign that there's probably going to be some crappies there. So those are my three keys for locating summer crappies. Now, if you want my a little bit more in depth, a little bit more what I look for, I've got a seven point checklist that I've put together for locating for like to follow for locating crappies on a new body of water or your favorite body of water. So if you want that checklist. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. Just follow the link and uh, you can get the checklist. It's gonna have my seven points that I follow every time I go out and uh, look for new fish. So, hope this video helped you. If it did, hit the like button and I will see you guys next time.